Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game video for you this evening. This is a crane machine. We're trying to document every different one of these we get. We keep getting a bunch of the old ones, which are our favorites. All the stuff from the 80s uh, and some of the 90s, but all of, all of the cranes and stuff from the 80s is kind of our favorite uh, for, you know, as far as cranes go because they're the old school classic ones. Now, they make a ton of new ones. We don't hardly ever get those. But every once in a while, one of these old 80s ones pops up. And we think they're cool, so we film a little video of them. Just to show our friends on YouTube. We just got this one done. And here's the video. So this is a Betson Big Choice Crane. In a couple of my other videos, I kept saying that this was made by Smart. But Smart made the uh, Bear Claw and the uh, Clean Sweep. The Big Choice was Betson. And this is one of the real early ones with the two buttons, so check it out. This one's in nice shape. Um, it's scraped up a little bit, which is pretty common on these, just from being moved. And a lot of these, when they got older like this, they didn't. The, the operators didn't respect them too much anymore, so they got beat up a little bit. But this one, it's not that beat up. It's still pretty, pretty decent. Kind of the same old thing they're all kind of similar check this out Oop. bets and enterprises now I was thinking it says 0681 I'm wondering if that has anything to do with the date that was made is this from guy just walked by in the rain singing to himself all right, folks. Um, I wonder if that 0681 has anything to do with the date that it was made. I don't. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know what all that would represent. And over here, you you see, you've got the the 12 digits. I, I think maybe one of them was supposed to be stamped out. Then you get the six seven eight nine zero one. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not sure. So, 0681. Could have been made in 81. I didn't think it was quite that old. Could be, though. Could be. Do you guys remember seeing these in the uh, arcades back in the really early 80s? I'm not so sure about that. But it is the old one with the buttons. It's, it doesn't have a joystick yet. I was going to guess, it, it just the, the look of it, it kind of looks 85, 86, something like that. Just the design of it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Now, it does have, let me show you in here. It has the old, old, old game board that doesn't even have um, IC, IC chips. It just runs off relays. So it could be, could be early, early 80s. I don't know. But regardless, it still works. So it's got a, you know, of course, a thing down at the bottom to keep all of your extra stuff in. It's got the prize door. It does not have sound. It's before uh, this particular model had sound. Oh, and the, the, the way the door opens is really interesting. The only way to open the door is you slide it straight up in the air. And then whenever you slide it up, you use this little lever that sometimes is down here this little lever they've got it tied off with a spring you can kind of move that to prop up the door so that's kind of its its thing and like usual it's got the infinity lights up at the top big choice looks kind of goofy but when I was a kid they had these in movie theaters all the time so when you went in the movie theater um, that with those um, inf they call those infinity mirrors, you know, with the infinity mirror like that. It looked like, uh, kind of like the, the movie theater marquees. So I'll turn off the lights and you can see how good it looks in the dark. Check that out. Alright, and if you've never played one of these really old ones with the two buttons, we'll drop a quarter in it. So that's our credit, <laughs> right? And so... The first button lights up. So you only you can only do this once. You can't like re-aim it like you could with the joystick, right? So you just 
hold the button until you get as far back as you're going to go. And then look, I can't do it anymore. So now it's just highlighted my right one. And so it's the same deal. Oh, I didn't make it. I didn't make it, folks. But there you go. And if you do make it, there's no sound or anything. This all works off relays and switches. So basically, there's no computer telling it what to do. It just, if this, you know, it's all run by switches, including the coin switch, whenever the coin goes through. Uh, really unique design. That's how they did them. Originally, later on, they added the CPU and the, the you know, the, the, uh, computer board where they could actually uh, make it uh, have a have a software program to it and they can play music and all that stuff but these, these are the early ones so we figured we'd just film a little video for you we'll try it one more time let's see if I can get a good shot of it so you can see what's going on like you're here well, button got stuck. There we go. All right, so there you go, folks. Cool, cool, cool machine. This will sell really quick. People like these for their home game rooms. Now, if you're interested in videos like this, subscribe to us. Let, let us know what you think about it below. And especially tell me, let, let me know when was the first time you ever saw one of these. Were they around in the early 80s, 1981, 1982, like that little uh, sticker kind of suggests? Or uh, was it more of the mid-80s? I know I saw them in the mid-80s, but I, they may have been around before that. So let me know what you think when the first ones came out. And uh, subscribe to us below. Let us know your comments. Now, if you're looking to buy things like this, sometimes we have these games. You can check out our website, Lions Arcade, where we've got all of these listed that we have in. Uh, or you can stop by our store. Sometimes it's not raining. And uh, we're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, we'll be waiting for you. So leave your, uh, leave your uh, comments below, and we'll see you on the next video.